I want to play a game. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new segment here on the channel. I am calling this segment Check Your Sources. This is a bit of a game that plays a little on the honor system. To play along, uh, after I give you uh, the different uh, topics, I don't want you to go looking up these source stories on the internet after I say them. Try to figure them out on your own and then comment in the comment section on which one you think is the right one. What it is, is I'm going to give you three different rumors based on sources. You know, we all love sources here on this channel uh, that I have found. But there's a catch. One of those sources will be me. There will be one big rule. I will not ma make up any quotes uh, from the people involved in the stories because uh, I don't pretend to know what someone would actually say, nor do I want to put words uh, in people's mouths that aren't true and call them quotes. I will, however, make comments like sources do, claiming they heard people say things. So, all right, here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the different stories uh, from the ones that I introduced on my podcast, Get on the Mic, and then I'll give you the answer to last week's three source stories. Um, and then we'll get into a new one that you guys can play along with. Uh, so here we go. Number one, some news has been leaked by a source ahead of the planned Hellboy panel at New York Comic Con as a way to extend an olive branch to angry fans that are upset that Guillermo del Toro's movies will never be finished. A familiar face may be cast in a familiar role. The source claims that Hellboy creator Mike Mignola is trying to convince Lionsgate officials to cast the one and only Doug Jones as everyone's favorite fish guy, Abe Sapien. The source claims that Mignola used the example of Jones being praised for his creature work in the shape of water to try to convince them. Number two, Spider-Man Far From Home may be featuring yet another villain. We already know that Mysterio and Vulture are appearing, and Chameleon and Hydro-Man have also been in the rumor mill for a bit. But, sources say that another obscure villain could be making an appearance as well. According to the source, Mark Raxton, a.k.a. Molten Man, is going to possibly be appearing in the movie because the character was added to a Lego set produced for the film. Number three, despite Henry Cavill going on record that he would like to face a certain villain in a Superman movie, the possibility of him leaving the role has opened up the opportunity for Warner Brothers to introduce this villain in another movie. Sources are saying that if Cavill is done with the role of Superman, then the villain Brainiac will be introduced in the new Supergirl movie instead. Now, those are the three that I introduced last week on Get On The Mic. And the answer, the one that I made up, was number one, the Hellboy story. Sorry, that one is just a little bit of wishful thinking on my part. That being said, I am really looking forward to seeing what they do with that movie, even though I am one of the ones that upset that's upset that they didn't get to finish the Ron Perlman one. So, okay, so now you see how this goes. Here are the three source stories for this week. Number one, some possible news has come out about the long-rumored Black Widow movie. A source has indicated that the story will uh, take place during Natasha Romanoff's younger years, around the time of Y2K. This would set the story in the late 90s, which would make our heroes age somewhere in her mid to late teen years. Either a younger actress would have to be hired or CG used to DH Scarlett Johansson. The source also mentioned that we should expect to see the Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, or both in the movie. Number two, believe it or not, the Gambit movie is still happening, and according to sources, filming may begin on February 15th in New Orleans. While the movie still doesn't have a director attached, Channing Tatum is still signed on to star in the movie, and the screenplay is finished. It is said that Fox wants to get this movie made before the Disney merger and fear that the House of Mouse will scrap the whole movie entirely. And number three, with the positive responses the Bumblebee movie trailers are getting, especially after the second one, a source claims that Paramount and Hasbro 
are considering using it as a launch point in rebooting the Transformers franchise instead of it being the last connected to the Michael Bay versions as originally planned. The source also says that since people are responding extremely well to the 80s G1 inspired designs of the Transformers, the movies would probably stay in that time period. Okay, so there you go. Three stories. Only two of them are ones that I read online. The other, a figment of my little imagination. Next week, probably on Wednesday, I'll reveal which one is the fake and have three more source stories for you. Have fun. That's going to be all for this edition of Check Your Sources. If you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to the Real Geno YouTube channel, like this video, and if you have anything to say about this segment, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Until next time, I'm your host, the Real Geno, Geno Reynolds. Game over.